Now in a previous video, I showed you how to create a one channel mixer, which shows up right about here. If we open up the mixer, we change the size of it by grabbing from over here. So we just see one channel or track. Then we can select one track at a time on the track control panel. And we're gonna see a nice big fader just for that track. So it basically mirrors that selection, which we could select from here by clicking on it or using keyboard shortcuts, all control on the PC, option command on the Mac and using the up and down arrow keys to choose which track we see over here. And I also showed you how to open and close it by double clicking in the track control panel. Double click to close it and double click again to reopen it. And I still think this method is very useful as it puts a big fader right in the middle of our screen and we could hide it just as easily when we don't need it. But for some people, they prefer to see the fader all the time, which we can dock and put it on the left side or the right side. So let's take a look how to do that. Let's reopen the mixer. If we go to the right side over here and right click, we can dock the mixer in the docker. And that usually puts it down here, but we want it on the left side or the right side. So let's grab this little tab right here and pull it out. See how we get a gray rectangle and just drag it to the left side of our screen and let go. And that puts the mixer over here. And we can change the size of it like this. So what we have to do is make it so we just see one track at a time. And now it'll work the same way. We can click on our tracks and we're just gonna see one track at a time. And I have it set up so I could also see my plugins and my sends. If you don't wanna see that, hold down control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just resize it over here to get a bigger fader or a smaller fader with more information. But I prefer it right about here so I can see my plugins and my sends, but also adjust my panning and of course our fader. And again, we could just select it by clicking on each track or using the keyboard shortcuts to do the same thing. And if you want it on the right side, just drag it to the right side. Drag it to the right side like this. Resize it like this, so you just see one track. Now we can choose which track we see. Use our keyboard shortcuts to go through each track like that. But let's put it back on the left side. Resize it so we just see one track. And there is one downside to this. As we can only have one mixer at a time, we can't get the mixer that shows everything. But if you want that, and sometimes you do, you're gonna to wanna to use screen sets. Go to the view menu and choose screen sets, or use the keyboard shortcut on PC, Control E, and on Mac, Command E. And that opens up our screen sets. Make sure it's set to the Windows tab, and then save different screen sets based on what you prefer to see. So for the one fader mixer, I'm gonna save this so it'll look like this. But now, let's open this up and drag it so it floats in the middle of our screen like this. Now we can save this as another screen set. I named it normal, I'll resave it. And now I can either choose it from here, from normal to one fader mixer, or I could use the keyboard shortcut over here. By default, they're F7 and F8, but you could change them to any keyboard shortcuts you prefer, or create up to 10 over here. So now, if I want the normal mixer, hit F7, and I get the normal mixer, or hit F8 if I want the one fader layout instead. And if we save it on the left or right side, we could save it with the screen set the same way. So if I wanna work like this, just use those keyboard shortcuts for the one fader layout or all the tracks in the mixer that we could see at the same time. So that's pretty much it. That's the one fader layout in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go.